Morning, good morning. Um, yesterday's video was a madness. Over 300 views in less than 24 hours. Um, to some people, that might be a lot of views, but to me, it is. So um, I'm absolutely over the moon. How well, well, just how well the video went. So thank you to everybody that was obviously on the video yesterday. Um, Villa on tour. Dookie from Channel 1902. Uh, Alex Griffin, Alex Allen, Joe Willett and Miles. Thanks so much for being on it. And Dora on tour, of course. Thank you lads for being on the um, video yesterday, but for today it's Thursday and we'll try and get a few things washed and hopefully the weather stays nice. And of course it's the last daily vlog before the big weekend stuff happens, which of course tomorrow at the um, like DJ set one if you like. Seeing Annie Mac tomorrow, MK, Mark Ronson, um, and of course Saturday is a big one, the main man Stormzy, um, Lewis Capaldi. There's a few other names there, but you know what I mean? There's only a few that I want to go and see, and then of course Sunday's got a massive day as well. And then Monday, of course, it's the playoff final, which I might go live for, but I'm not sure yet. Depends how hungover I am from Sunday night, uh, because of course, on Sunday night, once I get back from the big weekend, I'm going out just to my local town for a few drinks with a few friends. My nose is going absolutely mental, and I can't go to stop itching. But good morning, welcome to your faces, and uh, yeah, um... Well, I tell you what I'm doing today. I'm not going football training tonight. Um, and that's about it. I need a uh, cup. Get that next week. I'll we'll pay it. Nice cheeky bonus in my pay packet. But yeah, for right now we're chilling, and uh, I need to get up ideally. Alright, mate. That the cast my boat. And go on. We'll have a little story time. I'll tell you about all the weight loss I've been doing. Alright, so I'm back from voting. This is the voting office, and I'm back home now. When I say I've lost 14 pounds, a lot of people out there might not believe what I'm saying. A lot of people might say he's lying to us, he's just making up a number or whatever. And listen, it's your opinion, you can say what you want about my weight loss. But you guys, well, when I asked you, because I bring you along on my weight loss journey, a lot of you wanted to come along on it. Now, the gym workouts and all that, yeah, okay, I normally just work from home. I, well, that's just at the present time. Um, but I just don't vlog it enough. And where am I supposed to put my phone? Um, I have all these sort of dynamics, but, but I am going to show you guys eventually the workouts that I do. With weights and whatnot, and obviously my runs that I go on and other things, but most of it, what's come down to is me eating right. I, of course, I'm still working out uh, and whatnot, but I'm still I'm eating right. And what I mean by eating right is, don't get me wrong, I still have my treats every now and again, but I don't have them as much. Like I'll um, from now on, I eat like chicken and rice for my dinner, and on a night I'll have uh, chicken, veg, uh, maybe some rice, no sauce. I won't have any sauce on my food because for me, sauce is fattening, and I just won't have it. Uh, for breakfast, I have some granola, or I'll have um, say a go ahead bar and uh, say like a bottle of water. And if I'm going to snack through the day, it'd be great, or so I'll be some sort of fruit during the day, or be a healthy sort of um, just a healthy sort of bar that I have to read up on in order to make sure that it is healthy for you and you can't eat it. Now, a lot of people might say to me, Well, why enough you're doing all these things? But it's because I want to look good, you know what I mean? I want to look good with myself. It's not that I want people to look at me and say, Oh, look, he looks outstanding. Him. Because whatever people say about me, so I took it on the chin doing YouTube, when I've had my body on camera sort of thing, I've had people <laughs> comment down below and troll me all over. Now, trolls are a big thing, and if I tell you how much I weigh, you might go down in the comment section or whatever, I'll leak it on social media. And for me, I don't want that right now, because I'm not confident enough to tell you my exact weight right now. But what I'm going to do is just tell you that I have lost 2 stone 14 um, since December, and of course, last time I weighed myself was April the 18th, and that's when I was 2 stone lighter than December. And now I'm 14 pounds lighter, so... I'm absolutely over the moon the way I'm going, but what I mean by my diet is I'm still eating my treats, but I'm not eating them as much. Like I used to eat like three takeaways a week. I've had three in ten weeks. So I'm just breaking it up. I'm still eating what I want to eat in the respect of if I want to buy a crisp, okay, well, I'll have one a week then, or I'll have one every couple of weeks, or whatever. I won't have like three a day. My diet was mental, people. Honestly, my diet, I would have killed myself by the time I was 30, hands down, if I kept going the way I was going. Put it this way, when I was finishing work, I'd get a full fat drink, I get two boxes of Pringles, um, I get maybe, I don't know, a pouch of chocolate, um, a normal bag of sweets, and that would be me, and I'm not joking, that would be me every single day I was eating the same thing. Then I got to December, and one day I ate it, and I felt my heart sort of, I thought it did something, and it just triggered me, this ain't on. And that's why I've switched it up completely, and that's why I'm not eating it as much, because I don't want to go back to that routine. The routine I'm in now is what I'm happy with, and it's a new diet and everything else, the chicken and rice, the water that I'm drinking, just making sure that with myself, I'm happy with what I'm doing. Um, and you know what I mean? People can say whatever they want and down, down below and say, you know what I mean? You're still fat and whatnot. I'm happy the way I am at the minute. Well, I'm happy. I'm content because I know I'm losing it. And even though it's a hard journey, when you're seeing the results, it makes you want to continue. Now, I'm sorry that I've 
spent the majority of the month on my weight loss. I'm just really happy with the, should I say, the way things are going. I am still training, football training tonight as well. Of course, that's that's like running for like two hours. So that's helped me out massively as well. But yeah, people, I just thought I'd update you. I lost 14 pounds. I'm now two stone, 14 lighter than what I was um, back in December. So I'm absolutely over the moon. Shopping bag. Shopping we go. Don't know if I've been to film inside the shop. Do people get weird when I've ever got a camera hits on you? But yeah, Aldi, let's do this. So as many of you guys know, I don't have any PS in until I get paid next Friday. But I broke my foot draft record and made a 192. First time I've ever made a 192 on FIFA 19. I'll show you right now. I've got six legends, three of which are on my bench because I can't get with my team because they don't play their positions. But yeah, let me show you this wicked, wicked draft that I made. So as you can see here, there it is, up in the top corner there. This is completely real. That's me, 192. Bamiang, the best Pele, Sabio, Ericsson, Flippinet, who else do you want? Robinson, uh, Aurier, Zanetti, uh, on the bench we've got Del Piero, we've got Giggs, we've got Luis Figo, we've got all the best like prime, like, in their prime, like, he's got all the best cards. Uh, I don't know how I managed to get a 192, but yeah, there it is. I'm going to try this team, I know it's only on uh, offline, but he's on professional, I believe it's uh, difficulty level, but yeah. I literally couldn't believe I got six legends in the draft. What a draft this was. To go again. You know what I mean? Get the old boots out. Need a bit of a clean up for the set in the gym. Look at the front of my left boot. Um, but yeah, my right ankle's been a little bit sore. So hopefully it's uh, all right tonight. And also, we'll leave you a free tune to listen to on the old YouTube or whatever. It's an old tune. It's by the man Devlin, who doesn't get enough credit. Um, London City, it came out 2010. But yeah, man, it's still an old school banger. So if you want to go listen to an old grime tune, Go listen to one of the OGs of the grime scene, Devlin, London City. See you in a bit. Hi people, I'm home with football now, and uh, by far the toughest session I've as a team. Do you know what I mean? I think the lads will come off the pitch here saying it was the toughest one I've ever done, the hardest one I've ever done in my life. That was it was rock hard. I mean, eight to ten weeks there of training, and uh, like, see, I'm still sweating now. I'm still out of breath slightly as well. It was rock hard, but it was good. Um, went over a lot of drills, got all the roles sorted out for free kicks, penalties. Um, sort of short, short distance free kicks corners, and we played a big game. We played it free touch. Um, it was like literally four, four on four, but obviously two goalkeepers are three on three. But what was good about it was it was non-stop running. Um, and the thing is, me, I couldn't finish with dinner, man. I could not, I could not finish to save my life tonight. I had a beautiful cross played in by Josh. I literally went, it hit the front a bit of my hair, I went past me, and I was like, oh. sometimes on a header, I'm not fully committed to it. If I'm fully committed to it, I know for a fact I can obviously connect with it. I had another one where I went through and it hit my right foot. It hit my left foot at the same time, like obviously like off the front of my boot. I went to the goalkeeper's arms. I had another one that was played through and I had too long to think about. We went to chip it or something daft and the keeper got it. Um, but apart from that, I thought the lads were, worked really hard tonight. Brilliant training session. Two more left of the big game. I'm buzzing out for the big game. I can't wait. Um, you know, uh, it's just it's just one of them. About, and tonight as well, my shins at one moment, right, the sort of started hurting, then all of a sudden, like, I felt something go in my leg, and it just stopped, like, it stopped hurting. Uh, a little bit sore now, but it wasn't as bad as the other night. My right ankle, um, as I said, had been carrying a bit of a niggle. Didn't feel a thing when I was playing. Um, but, you know, my fitness, I'm so, so grateful for this football match because it's helped me out so much. Weight, weight loss as well. And then just fitness-wise, you know what I mean? Listen, I'm out of breath now, but it's a good thing. And, again, uh, it's what is it now, quarter past nine, I went to football at half six. I haven't stopped running literally in that amount of time i promise you right now non-stop running all the way through and i carried it all the way through and if you'd have done that to me 10 weeks ago i would have been knackered after the first 10 minutes so fitness is improving get to get me the shield on the second of june i can't wait neither can the team roles are sorted as always people i'm gonna go um tomorrow will be the first day of the vlog like comment share subscribe peace out